also i literally didn't film an intro for this video so here it is um on today's agenda we're doing montezuma's castle a zoo and maybe hiking okay so we're here and there's the castle that's only part of it though but it's like in the cool because we have so many monsoons like rainstorms that it's like thousands of years old by the way so it's like it's really cool it's only part of it but yeah <gasps> he's purring oh okay so this game fish cleared it they saw that he was not like capable of being re-released re -released. Uh, because he would have no mom, and even if mom did find him again, <laughs> most likely mom would not Aww. want to raise him because of how weak he is. <laughs> I get uh, him. So that's when Gaming Fish brought him here, and again, we've been taking care of him for the last Oh my god. Oh, on. look at him. He does not feel threatened by any one of us, which is great. That's the last thing you want to do with a big cat like this. Uh, but I say big cat. <laughs> now, if he could roar, it would actually be a different type of vocal cord, which allows him to oh. be part of the big cat. Oh. Okay, so this is Summit on my left. And then this is Aspen, his, or excuse me, Cedar, his uh, kind of cousin. They're not related, but we call him brothers. As you guys can see, he is an absolute <laughs> lover boy. Oh my god! He does not care. <laughs> Cascabel and Sriracha. Oh, I would. Uh -uh. Actually, some of the most dangerous oh animals God. in our park. Yeah. I know it may not seem like it, especially oh when they have God. a brain that's only half the size of one of their eyeballs. Uh, but the reason for their being them being so dangerous is oh, oh. Um, is because of their feet down there. It might look like their mouth hurt me when they bit. Didn't hurt at all. It's actually those feet down there I can do damage. <laughs> they are the same feet that are used in the Jurassic Park movies to portray the Velociraptors. Oh. So as you guys can imagine, these animals right here are essentially the modern day dinosaur. Not only can they chase you at around 35 yeah. to 40 miles an hour but they can yeah. keep that speed up for over 30 minutes so they're not gonna let <gasps> up along with that once they do jump what out of you they jump six feet high in the air oh my when they finally claw oh, down wait. At you, they can claw down with that two inch talon on their toes that can allow them that's my finger again uh, <gasps> to actually claw in and disembowel a fully grown lion in one kick oh, their guts a now. spill out that's oh, how zebras are. are just one oh. oh no. With that said, longer. again, they have very small brains, about half the size of one of their eyeballs. Because of that, oftentimes <laughs> if they are in a life and death scenario and a Hi. Us keepers have to memorize stripes of their animals. Um just to memorize their names so we know who we're talking to and who's feeding. In case there's an emergency, we gotta say, like, hey Zara's eating the kid. We have to know what's uh, Zara's eating the kid. Uh, oh no. Oh, oh. She absolutely loves these tours. Uh, sister, this is sunrise. Oh. Uh, most are in sunrise. Uh, <laughs> this is known as a moo. And a moo is their way of asking for attention. It's almost like a cat meowing at you. That's just a big cat's way of saying give me food. Oh my goodness. Aww. This is Zara. And this is her sister, Sunrise. Sunrise. Happy greeting. It's their way of saying, hey, I don't want to hurt you. I just want to hang out. All right. Oh. Listen for it again. Oh. Uh, we're the Phoenix Zoo. Oh my god. We're able to get these guys a consistent, healthy diet. You don't have to worry about them chipping their teeth because chipping a tooth in the wild or two, uh, they're still able to eat the food that we give them. And they don't have to hunt for their food. They're He's so cute. Like, yeah, like five to ten in the wild is something more like 15 to 20 here. Look at them. Oh. Wow. Oh. Yeah, so 
<laughs> These two boys, they love each other. Uh, they are twins, so you'd think, oh, obviously Aww. they're brothers. They're gonna love Aww. each other. But that's not always the case. In fact, in the wild, these boys would have hated each other from the probably two years old um, all the way up to now. They would not live together. They would not be in the same pride anymore. They'd be competing against girlfriends. They'd be trying to uh, oh, kind of one-up the other. Oh, the pose? The pose. Oh. The pose means she gets more food. The pose. Do the pose. Um, yeah, whenever she thinks she's not getting enough, she starts to act really cute. <laughs> 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 I like it. Um, but yeah, so she is actually one those. of the few animals here that we classify as an omnivore. An animal that is not just eating greens like hay, like <laughs> vegetables. Um, oh my god! Um, or <laughs> things like meat only and chicken. She's actually getting a mix of everything. So in the morning, she gets things like tomatoes, bell peppers. Uh, she loves corn. She loves oranges. Corn. Blueberries. Do you ever see her face red and it looks like she's gotten into a fight? Just because she. <laughs> <laughs> blueberries by smashing her face into it until it's oh. Oh, oh, little shark. In case you guys were wondering, yes, we did just clean that pool earlier this morning. So why it's so brown now, you probably don't want to know. Oh, lemur. Little lemurs. Hey guys, um, it is Sunday, it's our last day, well, yeah, um, we're leaving, we're going home today, but we didn't really have anything planned today, but we realized that we can go hiking and we're also going to do Tuzmagoot, we thought Tuzmagoot was closed, but it's not, so we're going to do it, uh, I don't even know how much of a hike it is, that's our plan, I'm going to vlog it. And then when I get home, I'm going to do a haul video, so, um, yeah. This video will probably go up tomorrow, which is Monday. Um, it's my goal, it's my plan. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Haven't been narrating a lot, but that's okay. I never really got time to narrate, but yeah, that's it for now. Okay, so we made it to the top, and there's like caves, and I'm scared. This is our view. Okay. This is Tuzagut. Wow. Kitchow. It goes on over there too, but it's like the main area. Oh my goodness. Look, there's horses. It's a horse farm. It's so epic. And then there's a tunnel. Cool. And up here is the top. This is our view. Wow. And yeah. Hi guys. I'm back home. And I'm gonna do a haul video. Well, this is all in one video, but um, yeah, let's start the haul before I get tired and you know do things, go to bed. So I don't know which bag is which. Um, we're gonna have to figure that out. Um, oh, this is Montezuma's castle. So my mom got herself a pin, little pin. I got this little travel stamp for my little passport book that I have for like traveling and stuff. This is my sticker for my car and then this is my mom's sticker cute what is it castle pin this was our map for the zoo zoo map two's magoot um postcard another stamp for two's magoot my mom got herself a two's magoot pin this is my mom's Tooz Magoot sticker for her car. And this is my sticker for my car. Because I love birds. Um, I got this cute postcard. I love this postcard. It's so cute. I love that. It's so cute. I had to get this because it's so cute. It's just like a little, a little thing for you. It's glass and it's a baby white tiger and I love it. This is my mom's sticker. For the car, of course. And then this is my sticker. 
My mom got herself a out of the wild pin. Cute. And then I got myself a little keychain with a, it's never gonna focus, but it's got a zebra, an elephant, and a giraffe on it. So, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Join my Discord server. Link will be down in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one.